In this video, I'll describe how to enter into a pocket by using this PU50 camera quick mount release as shown here. As with circular pockets that we have already looked at, there are three main methods which can be used to program the cutting tool to enter into a pocket. A pilot hole can be drilled and the tool fed to depth in the hole, or the tool can ramp down into the pocket, or the tool can be programmed to helix in. Since the pilot hole method has been covered and it is relatively straightforward, I'll not cover it again in this video. When programming the helical entry, I'll start the tool 2.5 millimeters above the top surface and keep the tool at least 2.5 millimeters away from the pocket edges. I also want to select the tool diameter and helix radius, which will ensure the tool does not leave a tower of material in the center of the helix. For this pocket, I'll use a 12 millimeter end mill and I'll start it at the 12 o'clock position with the edge 2.5 millimeters away from the final pocket wall. Then I'll program an 11 millimeter helical arc as this will ensure the cutter overlaps in the center and stays two and a half millimeters away from the walls. I'll end the helix with the tool half a millimeter above the final pocket depth, then take one final 360 degree arc to clean up the helix. The pitch of the helix should not allow the tool to exceed a 10 degree ramp angle. I'll aim for a five degree ramp. A five degree ramp angle will have the tool move 3.01 millimeters linearly in the z-axis for each revolution. Since the total distance the cutter needs to travel is seven millimeters, I'll code two full helical arcs with a ramp angle of 5.81 degrees. In the next video, I'll demonstrate how to program a ramp entry into this pocket, and then I'll look at cleaning up the remaining pocket material.